how this dream started. An idea was formed to open a school based on the principle that all kids deserved a high quality education. And so we started with this dream of a school and we said we're going to stick to these principles no matter how tough it's going to get. I can say time and time again our staff dream big by staying committed to scholars um, for years who continue to be our most struggling, challenging scholars and they don't give up on them. They dream big by welcoming scholars in their junior or senior year who are behind, who often put our numbers back, but we never give up on them. So we honor, today we honor and welcome Ms. Monica Major, not only for the trail that she's blazing, but for being a dear friend to our vision. Ms. Monica Major. So I'll tell a, a quick story. How did we get here? And um, it, it was difficult, and, and we have to give so much credit to Caitlin. Um, I remember when she came uh, to the CEC, and at that time, it was a difficult time because uh, charter schools and district schools, we were miles apart. Not only that, she was the first to say that she would educate the hard to educate. And that spoke to us. She was clear that every student would be welcome in her building. She would keep every student as long as they wanted to stay with her. And that is when my support started. What made the difference for me and my wife was just the mere fact that the school, it was warm. It was like walking into your own house. You know, they are always there for your kids and I know I can trust them. It was warm, everybody really cared. And for me, like I troubled, I had a lot of trouble in school, so like, it was even better because a lot of teachers really looked out for me, even going into the high school. Yeah, even when I left, because I went to go get my privacy. Um, they still helped me even with that, because when I went there, you know, they didn't really care and stuff like that, but I still had help from college. So it was like, you know, I'm leaving the school, but I didn't leave my family. They have, we have like a good support system, and it's like, they don't leave. There's kind of like no child left behind, like if we're like, going through stuff, they don't let us just drop in. And you're greeted by name, and you know the teachers, and you feel welcome when you come. So I really hope that they go to elementary school.